Now a lot of people have never heard of the film Mute Witness. I'm pretty sure of it because it wasn't a big film and I never see it on TV. All that stuff. Either way, I, I myself have never heard of the film. I would never have heard of it until I read this one book by Fangoria called 101 Movies you sh You've Never Seen. I think it was like you know, good movies you've never seen. And ever since then, I, I really didn't, you know, even think about it until I saw it one day in a pawn shop. And, you know, hey, Fangoria, hey, talk about this, hey, I'm gonna buy it, yay, you know. Anyways, so the plot of the movie is that um, there's these Americans that decide to go to Russia to make a film. Now, the main character of this film is, um, of, this, of the movie Mute Witness, is this woman named Billy. I think her name's Billy. And now Billy is a mute, which is a uh, makes it harder for her to, you know, get help and stuff and try and communicate with others at when these, you know, unfortunate circumstances, you know, appear. And um, the whole problem is the whole all the problems start when one day she gets locked in the film studio and she can't get out because you know she's a mute, and because of that, people who you know can't see her, she can't even you know yell out help. So she's trying to, you know, she's at night walking around during the studios and she hears this screaming, not screaming, but more like moaning, I guess. Yeah, moaning, you know, ah, uh, and um, so she decides to investigate. Lo and behold, she finds three people, two of them, you know, do naughty, do naughty, you know, you know, you know, like, you know, bounce, 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 and another guy filming. Now... The thing that's weird is that the guy who's, you know, having sex with a woman, he's wearing a mask. So, out of nowhere, he gets up, gets a knife, and just kills the woman. Now, it's safe to say, you know, that this is a snuff film because it's being filmed. And really surprised. And somehow, she, she, they do the typical thing, she, she screws up and she gets heard. And they go through this whole cat and mouse scene that's just so very tense so so awesome you know it just it got my blood pumping you know all the suspense was amazing I mean it's something that Alfred Hitchcock would be like mm, yes excellent excellent mm, I concur mm, yes you know and after that it just gets better and better but after the whole cat and mouse scene is over you know it goes on and it's basically you know trying to get away from these people who made snuff films because they're trying to get her and she's trying to, you know, tell enforce reinforcement, not enforcement, the law, you know. And overall, afterwards, it gets kind of, you know, dull, you know. It's just regular action. But it's still, altogether, a very good film. People who I was watching with were all pumped up during that cat and mouse scene. And it was just like, you know, go, 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 go. Ah, right behind you, that kind of thing, you know. And so it really got people going. So the first act is amazing. Second, third act are eh, all right, I guess. They're typical, you know, thriller stuff. So overall, I think it's worth a watch. I mean, if you ever see it on TV, w watch it. You know, if you ever see a DVD, well, hmm, I wouldn't say buy it, but I guess borrow it. Yeah, I mean, it's a good film. Seven out of ten.